Okay, I was gonna get drunk and have a one-man dance party, but instead, I'm making another Portal 2 tutorial. We're doing moving platforms. I'm taking requests now, apparently. Crazy Bunny, you request moving platforms. I went and I dove into the infinite that is called the internet, and I figured it out. So here you go, buddy. You hit it, it moves, we have a little bit of noise. Could you guys hear that? Whatever. Anyway, and it goes, and then uh, it stops right there. So you can do a lift up, down, left, right, corners, whatever. So here we go. It's actually very easy once you have the correct things that you're supposed to use. So first, I'm using the same sort of uh, texture I used last time, that sort of office-y one. And then let's build the room. You want to make it pretty big because you want to give it the sort of two different platforms that I just had in that last one. This is big enough. And now let's split the room up into two. This one. And then copy, paste, and then slide this guy over there. Let's widen that a little bit. Okay. Player start point. Voila. Now let's make our train. So first what you want to do is go and you want to make a funk brush. I think that's what it's called. Everyone keeps saying funk brush, funk brush. I think you want to start out with a no draw. No draws are easy because they're invisible, but you can still apply them with properties. And then you want to draw, you know, just draw, draw box. A box that's a hell of a lot smaller than that. This is like your, your, uh, your track point for this whole train. So you want it to be pretty small. Great. And then control T and you want to make it a funk tank train. Oh, tank train. And then you want to name it. Let's just name it Main Train. Or let's call it Tracking Train. How about that? That's pretty good. And let's set a couple of properties right now. A bunch of this is all a bunch of BS, except uh, max speed. Let's set up to 40. Initial speed. Let's start it out at 40, even though we're going to set that to zero later. And then you want to do your start sound. You can just browse, go to game sounds, type in lift. You got lift start. And then you got stop sound. You got lift stop. Great. And I think that is about good. That should do it for now. Now we got to give it our track. So this is an actual entity called, I think it's path track. Path track. So for ease, I don't care what you name it. Um, track thingy. You want to always have an underscore one at the end. Because if you remember when we did the, uh, the quick quick copy paste the paste special in the last tutorial it's the same thing so you want to put this right where you're gonna want it to start at and you want to have it a little ways away from uh, from the um, from the wall because you're gonna to have to put your model over it and your models gonna stick out a little bit it'll make sense later so this is about good we might have to move it later and then what you want to do is go over it so you can move it hit shift and drag it out to where you want it to go there you go and there's your second one. Whoops. Let's go and make sure that it's named appropriately. Track thingy too. Great. Done. So that means we've already assigned where we want it to go. You can move this up, down, left, right. It doesn't matter. It's going to go from there to there. And that's about a good distance away. So then now you want to orient your, um, your whatever the hell this is. Um, what is this called again? You guys know. Tank train. So you want to orient it directly above your uh, tracking point because if you don't it's gonna clip there at the beginning and it's gonna look a little funky so go down and find first stop target which one you wanna do tracky thingy one booyah so that means it's gonna go in it's gonna hit your tracky thingy one tracky thingy one's gonna be like hey man go to two it's gonna go to two done alright well, let's get the model in here what are you gonna do prop dynamic ornament prop dynamic ornament Gonna name it something. Let's uh, well first give it a parent, and that is tracking train, and then give it a name, and let's call this train model. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot to mention that Roland Garros is going on right now. Ah, shit. Oh, there it is. So uh, on the developer ValveSoftware.com, if you go to Portal One, it's got all these good stuff that are pretty much useless, but for this one, it has some things that are useful. And um, they pretty much like talk you through a bunch of the stuff you want to do. So then it tells me my specific 
world model I want to use, lightrailplatform.mdl. There's a bunch of stuff that they have on there that's totally different, but this one is particularly correct. So lightrailplatform.mdl. I don't want the physics one because I have no idea what the difference is. Great. So I got my parent and I got that. That means it's going to follow it. So that means I need to orient it absolutely correctly to the center of everything that I'm dealing with, which is just like that. Great. So I set the parent. I have the, let's try it out. So hit F9, type in some unimportant name, and then uh, and then run it. And what it should do is it should start at a velocity of 40, and it should just, you know, be moving. So then all we have to do after that is go into move the velocity to zero, set a button. Where the f hell is it? <laughs> Okay, I have done something wrong. Let's see. Plot dynamic, default, light rail, apply. How odd. I wonder why the model's not there. Maybe it's... Oh, it's not ornamental. My bad. It is not ornamental. It is, uh... It is override. Okay, well, you guys can go back and check in on that. I'm pretty sure it works. Um, so the override, it's not uh, ornamental. <laughs> okay, so then what we're going to do is the exact same thing as we did in the last one. What we got to do is bind a texture to the top of this guy. And what you want to do is pick glass. Get the tinted glass, and then move it so it's about four units thick. That's eight. It's a little too thick. Move it down to four. Fantastic. Control T. I did this in the last tutorial, which is why I'm going so quickly. Control T. We want to do a funk brush, and then apply, and then you want to go to the parent, and then you want to set the parent to the train model. Also, you want to give this a name, so we'll do train panel, panels. And then, of course, what we need to do is do a logic auto. Again, I went over this last one. Logic auto. Because I've said this two tutorials now. One thing that I don't like about um, other tutorials is they go and they go so quickly through the things that I don't understand. Well, I'm telling you, this whole binding a texture to the uh, tracking point on a model, to a, to a tracking point on a model, is um, is already done. And then panel attach. So real quick on map spawn track panels. You got to pick the panel. Set parent attachment, maintain offset, and then panel attach in the parameter override. So that means it's going to start, and this panel is now attached to the platform. That's great. And then now that you've probably already tested it yourself, you could have just paused it and done that, but I know it's going to work. Funk brush is not what I want. Um, how am I going to get to the? How do I get to my path track? Ah, F and A. This guy out of the way. Funk brush. Ugh. There we go. So I had to move all that out of the way. Now I want to set my initial speed to settle. So now that that's at zero, now I gotta move everything back. Damn it. Okay, everything back directly on point, because if it's not, it's gonna look funky. Not in a good way, Funky, in a bad way, Funky. Good. And then this guy. Okay, this looks pretty good. So now that that's at zero, now we have to go and make a button. You know, let's make a floor button. Prop floor button, apply, and then you want to do the output on pressed. Uh, tracking train. Set speed, 40. And let's make one more on unpressed. Set uh, tracking train. Set speed to zero. So that's obvious. When you get on it, you're going to set the speed to 40. When you get off it, it's going to set it to zero. We want to set one more thing. We want to do one more thing. It's a cute little thing to show that what it's doing is actually working. It's an environment citadel energy core. I'll just name it energy. And then go down to scale, set it to 0.5, because one's a little big. And then you want to set the parent to the tracking train. And then flags, it is not on. Fantastic. And now you want to orient it exactly where you want it to be, right underneath this guy, right in the center. It's got to look like that little, th that hole right there is emitting this light. And it looks pretty when it does. Okay.
Let's go back to the button, Outputs, Add, and you want to do On Pressed, On Pressed Energy, and then you want to, what is it called again? I wrote it down, Set Discharge. Set Discharge. Set Discharge. Start. Aha. Start Discharge. There it is. And then let's see if we can do it. I actually haven't tried this on unpressed. Energy. Stop discharge? No? Stop what? What can I do with stop? Stop. I have start discharge. I don't have stop discharge. I'll just do stop. I'll see what happens. Um, I only know how to start the discharge. <laughs> All right. So it should be where you go on this, and then it runs it, and then you get off it, and it stops. And like again, you can go and set it to go anywhere, whatever you want. You can set it to buttons, set it to triggers that like when you walk over something. It's all the same thing. All you have to do is just set it to an output, and then give it the parameters that you want. So that's all I have to say about that while I wait for it to load. It's funny. This was really difficult to get the correct information on. All right. So I get on it, and it moves. And my little energy's there. I could have moved that down and look a little bit better. And then I stop it, and it stops. Oh, the energy's still going, though. Whatever. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. That is it. Bunny, I hope this was good. I was taking requests. It was a lot of fun. I, I definitely learned a lot from learning this. And I, I, watched, I watched a tutorial in Spanish to try and le learn how to do this. Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. And it was a shitty tutorial. It was on Half-Life 2. Oh, my lord. It was worthless. Uh, anyway, so there's that. And I hope it helps you. All right, man. Bye.